get started you want to take your button and then the ends of your cords and you want to thread your cords onto your button. So once you've got the cords attached to the button, you want to take your board and you're going to attach your button to the top of your board, but you only need enough cord out at one end just to clip to the bottom of the board. So you can ease your cord through and make sure that it will fit to the end of the board and then attach your button and I keep the longest cord to the top. So to take your longest cords out of the way and then take your shortest cords and clip them to the bottom of the board and because I need a little bit of a gap here as I'm working I'm going to use two separate clips to attach the cords at the bottom. So you should end up with something like this. So next you're always going to work first with this side and you want to take the end of your cord and you want to go underneath both of these cords. And then with your other cord, you want to go underneath this cord. And then taking the end, you want to go over this cord here. So you want to be below this cord, over there, underneath this cord and then over this cord and then pull it through under here. And once you've done this you can just ease it up to the top where you've got your button. So then you're going to do the same thing but this time it's going to be with this colour. So copying the way you did it before you're going to put your cord underneath both of the cords that clip to the board. You're going to take this cord underneath this cord. And then you're going to go over the top of this one, underneath this one, over this one, and then under this one. And then again, just push it up to the top and then tighten it. And this is the same method that you're going to repeat all the way down until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it. So every time you're going to take your first cord underneath both your holding cords, the next cord underneath that one, and then you're going to work over your first holding cord, underneath your other cord, over your next holding cord, and then through. And then you just want to tighten. And you can push it into place if you don't feel it's going quite as tight as you want it. So once you've got the bracelet as long as you want it, you should end up with something that looks like this. So now you can just make the fastening for your button. So you want to go over one of your cords and then pull the cord through like that. And then you want to go over one of your cords and pull the cord through like that. And you want to keep doing this until you've got the fastening as big as you need it to be. And that will vary depending on the size of your button. So it's a good idea to measure as you go along. And you want to do this at both sides. So that one on there. So 
So once you've done, you should end up with something that looks like this. And because this side is slightly higher because the pattern runs horizontally, I've added an extra knot at this side just to equal up both sides. So now you want to fasten them both together. So you can take your two cords and just use one clip to attach them to the bottom of the board, like that. And then you can do a couple of square knots just to close off your fastening. And once you're happy that everything's nice and tight, you can remove your bracelet from the board. And now you just want to trim off any excess. And I'm sealing with a lighter, but you can use glue if you prefer. And once you've finished, you should end up with something that looks like this. So now you can just try on your bracelet. And that is your completed wavy striped woven bracelet.